In this video, we will be discussing sonata form, specifically the exposition. Sonata form is most commonly found in the first movement of a sonata, a multi-movement work for solo instrument, chamber ensemble, or orchestra with at least one movement in sonata form. Sonata form is similar to ternary form as its overall pattern is A, B, A prime. However, sonata form has a two-part structure. Section A forms the first half, and B and A prime form the second. Let's look at section A, the exposition. The exposition has three primary purposes. To establish home key tonality, to move to a secondary key area through a perfect authentic cadence, or PAC, and to lay out themes to be embellished upon for the rest of the piece. The exposition has four primary sections. It begins with theme one in the tonic key and ends with the medial caesura. Theme one is followed by a bridge or modulatory transition that leads to the dominant area of theme two. The exposition ends in the closing section through an essential expositional cadence. Let's look at an example. Here is the first four measures of Piano Sonata No. 16 by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. This playful tune is an example of a first theme. This theme begins with an arpeggiation of a C major chord, firmly establishing the tonic in C major. The left hand further establishes the key through Alberti bass C major chords, thus completing the first purpose of the exposition by securing the tonic key of C major. Let's listen to the next section. This is the bridge, or modulatory transitional area between themes. Take a look at the several different keys outlined in this section. If you examine closely, you will see the harmonic sequence descending by scale. Look again, now at the melodic content. If you were to disregard the ascending descending scales and only listen to the first note of each measure, you would clearly hear a descending motion. It would sound like this. The descending line ends upon reaching D major. The 5 of 5 applied chord is used as a dominant pivot into the new key of G major. This new key is secured through the three G major chords marking the end of the bridge. Following these three chords is the medial caesura, an abrupt gap in musical texture created by a complete gap in sound or covered by light filler material. As in this example, the medial caesura often follows repeated declamatory chords. Listen on. Sound familiar? As in the first theme, the second theme features an appreciation of the primary key area accompanied by Alberti bass. The two distinct differences between the two themes are the key as well as the melodic motion. Whereas the first theme had an ascending arpeggiation, the second theme descends. This follows composition practices of the time favoring contrary motion. Following the second theme area is the closing section. If I were to pause the recording after the first beat of measure 26, the section was sound finished. Listen. The closing section is easily identifiable as it is an extension of the final cadence. The purpose of this extension is to make the ending sound more final, complete. Listen again.
While the section could have ended earlier, this extension prepares the ear for a secure conclusion in the key of G major. For this reason, closing sections can be found in most sonata form movements. However, it should be noted that a closing section is an optional composition technique and does not always appear. Now that we have learned all four sections of the exposition, let's watch a performance of Piano Sonata No. 16 in C major by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. After listening to the complete exposition, reflect on the three purposes of the exposition. Was the home key clearly established? Could you hear the transition to the secondary key area? Were there clear themes present? These three questions can help you identify the exposition section in any sonata form movement. Ask yourself these three questions when examining or composing sonata form in the future.